So we've created the sofrito. Yeah. Now what do we do with these beans? And well, corner? I tried to add some vegetables into it since you know there's limited produce section at the corner store. Yeah. So I got some beans and some corn, and then um, I don't think most people would put nuts in it, but I think it gives a nice texture. So I just put some almond in it, and um, you just heat that up. A little salt, a little cayenne, or anything, like hot sauce, uh, and then you cook that separately because that would absorb too much of the liquid and screw up the rice if you tried to do it all in one pot. So okay. I do that separately, and then you combine them okay. at the end, which is what this is. Uh, and then you just put some lime over it and some avocados, and, uh, and you put that's this in pretty much it. Pitas or something? You just eat it straight like Well, I, I would serve it just in a bowl, um, the way you know you would eat. Any, like, I don't usually yeah. eat with utensils and rolls, though. But. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot. And it's really? Yeah, it generates a lot of heat. Yeah, it does. It's hot. And it's not smoking, which is really settling for us right now. <laughs> yeah. um, now, you are billed as the downtown chef. Is, yeah. is that a self appointed title, or have you been given that by self? It was actually given to me by my editor, whose name is Johnny Diamond. Johnny. Yeah. The uh, editor of the L magazine. <laughs> yeah. And I started writing about two years ago, and I've been doing um, all kinds of recipes. And I know on the internet you can find some of your articles and some of your recipes, correct? Um, that, yeah, through the L, and I actually am doing a website right now called The Downtown Show. Okay. Um, uh, so. And how often do you write for the L? It's bi-weekly. Bi-weekly. So every uh, twice a week, is that correct? That's what bi weekly. Bi monthly. Bi monthly. Bi -monthly. Okay. Every so, other week. So right. every other week you have to come up with low that, Right. That sometimes matches the um, the theme of the issue. Like this one doesn't, for instance. This is the I think that was around Valentine's Day. Whoa. <laughs> really? American about, apparel. I mean just look at that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually that that particular article is about friend who is from Venezuela and he taught me how to make arepas, which is the staple of Venezuela. I'm sorry, what was that called? <laughs> <laughs> arepas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.